Hello world, it's your man's Ghetto, and this is my episode of Big Facts. Make sure y'all tune in. Let's get it. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from the Trap Music Museum, it's Big Bank, DJ Scream, and Baby J. We team Big Facts, and today we welcome him. Represent Detroit. He got the streets on fire right now, the one and only Peasy. Big I'm Ghetto! Up the Big Facts! Peasy, peasy, peasy. What's, what's up, my brother? How you feeling today? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, bro? Everything good with you? Yeah, everything, honey. How you feeling? Man, not not to not to <clears throat> jump too fast just into it, man, but to to make a really a record like two million up, that's a street record. Mm-hmm. It's, there's no singing, there's no it's none of that. It's just a street record. Like, and for it to go to the top of the chart, it's gotta be a crazy feeling. Yeah, it feels good because it's been a long time coming, you know? Yeah. I've been doing I've been rapping for so long. I How long you like been I, rapping? Probably since like 2006, real realistically. That's about 17 years, some shit like that. Yeah. He was with Team Team, team Eastside. Eastside before, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So we all been rapping forever. I feel like we've been putting out bangers and going crazy, running around the world doing shows and shit. But I never got like the song I needed to put me where I where I needed to be until like nah. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm behind a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So I don't let it get to my head. I just try to stay working. You had <clears throat> you had street records like from 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 projects and mixtapes and all that shit that was buzzing and people knew word for word. Mm-hmm. But this is one that you actually uh, is it gold platinum? Like, gold on the way to gold platinum. on the way to platinum. Mm-hmm. You gonna get a plaque out of that? Congrats! Yeah. And uh, this is something that, like I said, it's a street record. So yeah. that's a big accomplishment. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, absolutely. So along that along that seven T O journey, because we talk a lot a bit about um, big facts of. Um, when is the moment, like, should you keep going? Should you stop? Like, along that 17 But you year, making money the whole time yeah. you were rapping. Like, you was making, making money. money but yeah. you just wasn't big. A superstar, yeah, you was making yeah. money on rap. I was getting money rapping. I've been yeah. getting money rapping a long time. Okay. So I wasn't really never, it wasn't really never about the money with me. I was already straight as far as money. It was just more about, like, the respect. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew, I, I knew how good of an artist I was. Well, I know how good of an artist I am. Mm-hmm. And I know the type of records I make because I know the response I get. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really never about the money. It was just about like the respect for me. I just wanted to be mentioned. Mm-hmm. So now that you all mentioned, like I, I even saw like on social media, they they debating you as one of the Detroit goats. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm saying and putting your your name and mentioning amongst the the greats and everything like that. How you feel about that? It feel good. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like, cause like I say, it been a, it been a long time. I did a lot for the city, though. You know what I'm saying? Without asking for nothing in return. So yeah, it feel good. It feel good. I appreciate it. Is that part of that that lyric when you're like, Nick, Nick, niggas might not uh, niggas admit might it, not. but I paved the way. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> a lot of <coughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, a lot of the shit in the city, I was kind of like doing. Not like I probably wasn't the first person doing it, but. I kind of shed the light on a lot of the shit that's going on in the city first. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I felt. That's why I said that I felt like that. <clears throat> Do you embrace like the length of the grind? Like, oh yeah, I wouldn't have knew this if I'd have popped out back then. About you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I'd be so happy I, that I did it this way instead of like catching a hit early on and having yeah. to and not having another one to back it up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I'm happy that I took this took the stairs instead of the elevator. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna be tripping. I'll be, be, be happy that I did it my way. What's the difference in getting like, you know, money out the street rap shit then started now, now they calling for you, like, we wanna put you on these tours and all this other shit. Different it depends, it depends on what kind of artist you wanna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause for me for a long time, I didn't think I needed the radio. I used to be, I was bucking on the radio. I used to be like, I got the streets, I got the streets. So I never knew my full potential, you know what I mean? To the till I got a song on the radio, then they start. You you get like thirties and forties in a club, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. might do a couple shows a month, but when they start calling you on the radio, you get them radio hits. Now they putting you on festivals. You getting fifty, sixty thousand to go do a show at Rolling Loud or like a Dreamville yeah. or some mm-hmm. shit like that. Shit that's happening you too, yeah. and you getting paid. Yeah, and it's safer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it make you a bigger <laughs> artist. You know what I mean? So that's what it's really about for me. Like I really like take a pay cut to be able to do that and stay out the clubs, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing right now. So let's take it back like a little bit to the beginning about how it was growing up in Detroit, like your family life. Do you have brothers and sisters, kids, and you know what I'm saying, all that kind of shit? Yeah, I got brothers and sisters, but I'm my mom only child. My daddy got three other kids. Okay. So I was kind of like... You the oldest? No, I got a, I got an older brother. His name Chris, he the oldest one. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I was kind of like split in between... 
Cause my mom from the east side and my dad from the west side. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> so it was like up until uh, I say eighth grade, I was on the east side. Mm -hmm. Then I went up until eleventh grade. Then I left school and came back. So I had went to the uh, west side for a few years to mm -hmm. like eleventh grade. Then came back to the east side, and I ain't never go back on the west. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got kids? Like, yeah, I got kids. I got two kids. I got a 12 year old and a one year old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boys or girls? I got two boys. Okay. Yeah. Well, one big thing that be happening along the journey is like sometimes you, you start getting your motion up and you get your momentum mm -hmm. and then boom, you might have to go sit down and do yeah. a bit or some shit like that. Talk about how you just push past that because you, 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 I think you, you had to go sit down like right at a moment where you was. Really heating up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I had the city on fire in a minute when I was going when I right before I went to jail. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, and but I, not to not to down talk nobody or nothing like that. But I ain't I ain't really see like a lot of the shit that's going on now in the city till I went to jail. So I was like happy as shit, you know what I'm saying? Because for a minute it was looking like only a few people was like at a certain level. Then when I went to jail, like during the pandemic, everybody came up. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, what the hell? Not the uh, my bad. <laughs> What's the um, temperature Detroit. in the city though right now? In Detroit? Yeah. Uh, no, not really live there. I, I live in. I didn't move out that motherfucker, but it should be warm though. It should be warm right now. Probably about like <laughs> seven. The streets and shit. Oh, it's smoke. It's smoky out there. <laughs> yeah. It's smoky in the D. It's about 70s, 80s. Yeah. It might be 100. <laughs> it's 100 degrees on that bitch on the street. 400. Juvenile. Like everything I love. Yeah, yeah. But if you ain't got nothing to do with shit, though, Detroit ain't no city you really got nothing to worry about in. You can move how you want to move in the D. You know what I'm saying? Like... If you ain't got no, if you ain't in no smoke or nothing, you could come down there and do whatever you want to do because it's not like it ain't like a Chicago or a Philly or nothing like, like a that. random ass you might die type. No, shit, you ain't gonna right? die in Detroit. You good in Detroit. You yeah. can come down there. It ain't what's, like that. What's the, uh, what you think is causing like smoke to be at hundred? What you think causing that shit? The main cause of it. Them young niggas, everybody got their own money, mm -hmm. so can't nobody control them. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't nobody doing nothing for them. Yeah. You've been talking about this shit all day. Yeah, they got their own money. They ain't listening to nobody. And then it's, it's, it's too much shit that went on. So it's like they ain't trying to hear that shit. They ain't trying to slow down. They, they trying to figure out who. Yeah, it's fucked up. But but it ain't no guidance, though. Can't nobody tell them nothing. Just, you know what I'm saying? And they feel like if you ain't got more money than them or if you ain't killed more niggas than them or some shit like that, they ain't trying to hear what you're saying anyway. I told them, nigga, that they don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, the streets changed. Yeah. It used yeah, to be yeah. about money. It ain't about that no more. Uh -huh. It's about who done smoked the most shit out here now. Yeah. So it kind of make you turn your savage up or just get the fuck out the way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What you think make, make, what shift that shit though? We always ask people that. What you think shifted into that? Music. I think the music changed. The music always motivated the streets to either get money or do some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. So when you got younger, when you got younger niggas now, that's rapping. That's what they come up in. They didn't come up getting money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They didn't. I'm. I was born in that in '88. You know what I'm saying? So I had hustlers to look up to. They didn't have that. By the time niggas niggas was born in '94 and '95 and shit like that, and or in the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These niggas young as hell out here. Then they don't, ain't. Don't nobody got to sell no drugs. They can get money on the computer now. Mm -hmm. So when they get two, three hundred thousand so fast, then you really can't tell them shit. Now they got their own guns, their own cars. So it's just like once you get money, you get the power. It's, just, it's a lot come with that shit. Nigga, ready to shoot? Okay. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't better not say shit. I don't want to hear that shit. Right. Yeah. That's we, what, <clears throat> I'm trying to say like I, I don't want to ask you anything. Where you think this shit went left at though? Like in the street? Yeah, just like when shit went left, when niggas be like, shit, we don't want no money, we want some blood. Tell you the same, my same answer. World star hip hop, no, social media. It, it, it's, Instagram, social media, social media, yeah, yeah. social media. Well, online, it ain't internet. about the money no more. It's about pride now. It's about like you yeah. got to get your lick back or some shit, mm -hmm. or you got to get one for. It's about who can get on that bitch the first person to say they did it. Yeah, what I just told you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get slapped by a nigga. The only thing that you can do to fucking redeem yourself is go smoke this nigga on camera and go lay down. Yeah, they rather do that. Yeah, they gonna do that. Yeah, like yeah. This shit crazy out here, man. What's the disconnect with the young niggas and the old niggas, though? 
He just talked to disconnect you. They ain't got the old niggas. Some of these like, I mean, not to disrespect no old niggas, cause cause I'm 34. I feel like I'm an old nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but a lot of these niggas, they broke. But and but a lot of these niggas, oh, they they soft too though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they don't respect that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga, no young nigga that's running around and shooting shit up, trying to listen to no old nigga that's fighting bitches and ain't never fought. You know what I'm trying to say? They ain't going to hear that shit, bro. You got to mm-hmm. show these little niggas you a spank something. They want to know that you spanked a lot of shit or you a spank them. And that's yeah. the only way they're going to respect shit, you. Though. They don't care how much money you got. Mm-hmm. They, they don't, that shit don't mean nothing. Right. So you, you're either going to spank their ass or stay out their way. Because they will fuck you. These young niggas will spank you. What you think is the most different shit like from when y'all coming up to now? Like, What's the most different shit? Like, damn, but we ain't do that. It used to be etiquette with this shit, like respect. It was respect at one point. Not, not on. They don't got respect no more. They, they'll shoot your mommy, your grandma. Nigga catch you in the car with your kid, shoot that bitch up. It ain't used to be like that. Like nigga used to get that man back in the day. Yeah, nah, it's, it's it's like wild, wild west in the street now. So yeah, it's, uh, basically yeah. That's why I think it ain't no more respect. It ain't high. It ain't no etiquette with this shit. It ain't no etiquette with the gangster shit no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything goes. Yeah. So in 2016, um, when you had to go down for the trafficking and conspiracy or like charges that you had or whatever, um, you were still, by the grace of God, able to sustain your influence because you had already recorded, you had already pre recorded like so much music that you were able to like go ahead and put it out like while you were incarcerated. Mm-hmm. How do you think that would really make a difference as far as like a lot of these younger kids nowadays that are gaining so much fame and popularity so fast and then they get locked up and they just kind of fade away because they didn't put in the work beforehand? Um. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to answer, but I, but, but, but I, I can answer the beginning. That might be high, that seems low. I could can I could kind of like answer like some of that. Like, like niggas, far. like niggas, niggas shoot out, niggas shoot out of here so fast. I ain't really have a lot of um. I ain't put a lot, a lot of music in jail because I ain't have a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't really had no long time in jail, so I want. You had like 18 about, months, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, for for me, I wasn't really tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? But for as anybody else, niggas do get in trouble fast as rappers. Yeah. It, it, niggas do be in the street more than they be in the studio. So if they do go to jail, they ain't gonna have no music. Or in the, and then how you gonna pay your bills and shit? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you saying, but that's like it right there, cause I don't know where the fuck. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hey, what city you think? Like, oh no, nah, I fuck with this city right here. They fuck with me. I fuck with this city. I fuck with Philly, Baltimore, Cali. Uh, shit, I just left Utah. I like Utah, uh, Milwaukee, St. Louis, Chicago, mm, Texas, New Orleans. Uh, it's, it's a couple more I can't think of right now. What you think you most love, like when you go in and get it word for word? Might be LA. Yeah, it might be LA. It used to be Milwaukee, but it's LA now. Mm-hmm. What changed for you since, like, you know, you always been doing your thing, and money and shit. But what changed, like, once the, once the fame hit, like, okay, this nigga out of here. You know, it's a, it's a, the nigga be popping, but then this nigga out of here talk stuff. That damn song. Yeah, Too like many. I said, what changed in like your everyday like people and shit? Like, oh, what like changed? what changed like after after um, after that? Yeah. Hmm, that's a good question. Damn, what changed after two after I got popping popping? I always kind of had my phone to where you couldn't call that bitch. So like couldn't, too many people couldn't really never call me because my shit goes straight to voicemail. <laughs> I already moved out the city, you know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't never really reachable like that unless you was my family. Probably a lot more bitches, a lot more, a lot more excuse me, a lot more females. You did. A lot more home. females. How did people change though? I can't really say people change because like before two million up, I was, I was. Far as the rest of the world, they look at me like a star, but like everybody didn't know me, like it was kind of regular. 
So my program like really didn't kind of change until like it was, uh, it was kind of the same as far as my inner circle. And, yeah. But as far as the rest of the world, it's just like I just move like I don't really let people close to me anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't really talk to a lot of people like that anyway. You ain't gonna really never see me at the clubs and shit like that anyway. So it ain't really too much change for me. I just know that I got more fans and a lot more people watching me now. So I gotta really watch what I do now. Nah, I be seeing you on the ground. You got uh, got them boys with your sticks up. That's how uh, you every day, right sticks now. Up. Hell yeah, hell yeah, every day, <laughs> every single day. You important. That, you man, important. We ain't I'm too going important for that. For that. <laughs> I come from the street though. Like I've been, I was in the street before rap, so I really know how to move. I already know how to move. Yeah. When I show it, I just be trying to show niggas like it's a, it's a, it's a way you can do it. It's, it's, yeah. You know, it's a way you can do it. Like you don't gotta have ten little niggas in the car with guns. Like it's a way you can do this shit the right way and yeah. still feel the same. Them folks gonna stand there and talk to them folks about what happened. This yeah, what they we gonna, had to do because yeah, they did this. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah. They gonna stand right there. Why you sit in the truck? Everybody else gonna have to go run. <laughs> Niggas catching cases, lawyers. Now everybody gotta get lawyers. Somebody gonna tell on somebody. It's the way you do it. What changed your mindset though to make you think like that? Like, man, I need to protect this brand and move different and shit. I've been in a lot of shit in the street, but the latest incident was like some shit had kind of happened like two years ago at my house. And after that, I tightened all the way the fuck up. Like, by the grace of God, I made it out of this situation. Like, some niggas came to my house, tried to rob me with guns and shit. <clears throat> And I just so happened to take the guns and shit and some shit like that. I can't really speak too much about, but I got out the situation. And after that, I just tightened all the way up. I stopped fucking with who even I thought was like a shady motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I stopped dealing with a lot of my friends and shit. You know what I'm saying? I stopped really going out. Stopped getting high for a minute. Then I started back getting high. You know what I'm saying? But that process was like, like uh, cutting people off. It people. was stressful, bro, because I didn't know where it came from. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was really bothering me. Cause I ain't know where where that shit came from, you know what I mean? It was a process. It was it was a real stressful, a real stressful process of elimination. Yeah, yeah. So how did you, after the fact, deal with your former friends that maybe didn't understand why you had to cut them off? I feel like if a motherfucker if a motherfucker loved me, then they they know what's going on with me. If they if they if they love me, they ain't they understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If not, then they ain't really fuck me. I don't really focus on them. Like I I, I really got a small circle who really love me. Yeah. So I just cater to them. That's what I really did. Like I don't really focus on nobody else but the people who are around me every day that help me. Right, right. Like my people help me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's never about no money, it's just genuine love. So I just focus on it's really like seven of us. Mm -hmm. The only people I really care about, besides my immediate family. <laughs> Okay. No, I ain't married yet. Not yet. I think I might get married one day. But I don't know though. I think marriage should be a contract. Though. I think if if you ain't got no plan to be with the woman, I mean, I feel like if you ain't if you and the woman don't got a, a plan together to get no money, then I feel like y'all shouldn't get married because love die, love go away. Real <laughs> shit. Love the love gonna die if you broke anyway. You know what I mean? So I feel like if y'all don't got a plan to get no money together, then ain't no point to get married. That's just Real how I shit, feel about man. it. I seen this shit on Instagram the other day. It was like, um, you saw a contract, you get some money. So it was like, we just into a free ad contract. We should just say we're going to love each other better with no paper. Mm -hmm. When the paper get them, I was just telling Shantae that the other day. That like, shit good. Love, really love die. Huh? Love, what? love, go away. Said, huh? I said, love, die. I said, he told oh, his wife. Yeah, we need some money. Get some money. Yeah, we need we got, yeah. Money. Turn this shit over. We got to figure out how we going to, because what the fuck? We going to just be in love? With no money, then somebody gonna cheat on somebody. So Real let me shit. ask you this then. Do you do you believe in the idea of love? Yeah, I believe in love. I believe in emotion. Like there's nothing you can do about love. You know what I'm saying? But I believe in love, but not marriage. If unless you get money together. You saying like buying into a contract, like we get money, we finna got them build a conglomerate. Fact. Not just more free shit. Yeah. Because it's gonna be. It's gonna end up being. It's gonna. It's gonna fall down to one person doing everything. It's gonna fall down to the man doing everything. And he ain't gonna feel appreciated. Then the woman gonna feel like she ain't getting what she want. Entitlement. Yeah. Man. It's gonna be all fucked up. But if she got her own money, he got his own money. Everybody happy. 
You know they gonna say you're a narcissist, or a misogynist. That's or cool. They can say whatever. You know they say so much shit. I'm just like saying like you. No, I'm just, I'm just saying being like real, a narcissist bro. or a misogynist. That's mm-hmm. what that is when you think the way that but you think on your own. It's just a real. It's just that's real, not true. bro. It's just most real. of the not, time. That's not true. Most of the time, when a niggas, narcissist is not that. What's no, what I'm saying. They, that's what I'm saying. Some, some new shit. A narcissist <laughs> is basically like it can be a male or female, but it's a person that basically mind fucks you into thinking that the shit that they're putting you through and the shit that they are having you to go through is your fault and is caused by some actions of your own. And, you and it add no at no accountability <laughs> expense to them. It usually be your fault. <laughs> I'm just telling you, and you don't want to hear the truth. That's what that shit is, bro. Motherfucker don't want to hear the truth about themselves. Women are born to be victims. What? Mm. Excuse me? Mm. Women are born to be victims. As we grow up, if you got a little sister and a little brother, why does she, like, if just say she can punch me in the face all day, I push her head down. Why did you push her down? I'm going to get the head whipping. She ain't even getting no whipping. Are you serious right (laughs) now? I'm just being real, like, uh, twins. A boy and a girl, right? The little girl can be as ruthless as possible to this boy twin. That's a fact, though. If he push her down or something one day, because yeah. he fed up, he's going to get his ass yeah, told because he's a boy. That's a fact. Mm. You're supposed to do it. Even, like, even like if the police show up, even if somebody called the police and you didn't do nothing wrong. We need to put your handcuffs first, sir, to make sure fact. everything under control. That's a fact. Put this bitch in handcuffs. She the yeah. one that got that went through my one. phone and, and busted my colors and, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about, like, we both doing this. <laughs> Put us both in handcuffs. And yeah, like this shit is equal. But nah, we need to contain are you, you are first. You, are you, are you, but I feel like I feel like just as you many. Know what it is. About it. You know. Just as many females as it is running around hey, bro, raising know. themselves to be victims or whatever. No. It's just as many pussy no. ass niggas running around being victims <laughs> as well. You right? You right? Like the same. It's the I'm same right, shit. Right, Jay, right. At the end of the day, put that shit on the scale and weigh it up. It's gonna be the same, bro. Not really though. Oh, God, Women are subjected you. to be entitled. You a princess. Nigga, you shut the fuck up out of crime, bitch ass nigga. That we got when we were kids, like, boy, get your put. That was you, you boy. Don't let me catch you twitching. That's the shit. You come down, definitely gonna get it beat out you. A woman can goddamn do it. They'll be as vulnerable and as show her true inside. Nigga, you gotta damn there be he man. <laughs> you break your leg, you better not cry. Nigga. You cry, bro. The boys don't cry. Am I right or wrong? No. Oh man, no, you ain't lying. Women is meant to be victims. You're though. meant to be a victim. From the so whole world, though. Everybody. Name a, name a woman that said it was my fault. I just didn't like him like that. It was my fault, girl. No, it was my fault that this nigga couldn't convince me to be the bitch that I need to be for him. Oh, what you mean? <gasps> Pass what the bank. That's the truth, though. Right? 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 They say they hate when you write. That's, That's hate. Truth. He right, though, ain't he? <laughs> he right. That's the truth, though, right? He's kind of right. I hate when he is. Why you don't like that? But it's the truth, though. The truth, though. But the truth is not bullshit. But I'm going to raise my granddaughters the same way. I'm a product of that. I'm gonna raise my granddaughter like that. You are. This is you. You deserving of this. <laughs> That's how we raise the girls. Like from 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 now to the end, it's right? Emotional. But the reason that girls are raised that way is because they have to deal with way more shit than guys do. Like what? Like what, Jay? Like what, Jay? No, like like when it comes to when it comes to life experiences, when it comes to. Jobs and the workplace and employment. That, when it comes to that. all kind of shit, like, nigga like bitches have to go through way more than girl. niggas have to go through. Like when I, bro, I be in the neighborhood hiking and shit. Them folk look at me like I'm a yeah, fucking criminal. Exactly. And I'm not a criminal. Bro, they just no more. They look at me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like on some real nigga shit. I'm a regular person. I don't mean you people no harm. They look at us like they're criminals in the United States. But Club. they, they but typically they don't take they don't take women. As seriously as they do men, That's and we've right. been fighting for that. If I walk with Shantae, they hey. Right. If I got Shantae with me, they hey, Same hey. With me. I'm by myself, but you up to something. Same with me. I'm talking about yeah, when Shantae is with you, but when Shantae is by herself, she, she has to hey. fucking like. She get a hey, hey. <laughs> it's more gentle. No, I'm you, you're more oh black. A, a black dude in America, bro, is different. It's different. We, we go through too much shit. Man, it don't matter if you being shoot. a black female in America is fucking difficult. What are y'all saying? What are y'all saying right now? You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But it ain't the same. Men gotta go through shit. If we see, if you driving 
and the cops pull up behind you, you immediately your mind goes some other place. Yeah. As a black man, it's shit we gotta go so through. So you, you don't think? No, I, no, no. I'm and saying, I'm not. I'm not trying to compare I'm and contrast. Not trying to compare. I'm saying y'all go through but shit I'm, too. We know gender equality. We 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 all. Nah, go, fuck I'm that. Not I'm not I'm talking about gender it. equality. I'm, I'm not go, talking about We all that. go through shit. I'm just you saying. You can't say y'all go through more shit. That's all I'm saying. They don't. They don't go through more shit. No. They don't. We they take them. Now you add our shit. We take women. You can't say through. y'all go through more. They go through you more. You can shit. say we go through it together as black folks, but you oh. can't say y'all go through it. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to say it together shit that as men black folks. Take, take women through too, then they go through more shit. But I'm saying niggas going through most shit. Black men are going through most shit. In the streets. Oh, just no, no, overly, you, guys, you guys go through a lot. But to say that we're raised to be victims, like, that's some, that's some bullshit. No, that ain't no bullshit. That's the truth. He probably said it wrong. He probably said it wrong. He probably said Not victim. The entitlement. said it wrong. No, 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 no. This is my twin. I know what he Like an entitlement Like, I know what he's talking about, but. That is damn near, that is damn near, what do you call it, embedded in you. An entitlement spirit. You deserve a Prince Charming. Which is how a black, a, how a woman should be raised. We was raised. You deserve wrong, what you can. Who was for you, boy? But a lot of, but a lot of, but <laughs> even when it comes, but even when it comes, you that when you. We like, talk about you this being anything. a product of our environment. Oh. A lot of times, <laughs> black women aren't even raised like that for real. To be she, princesses and all that kind of shit. Dependent. Like it depends on who's raising them. It do, no, and it depends fact. on their mothers and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all kinds of shit. Like sure. they mm -hmm. like like black a lot of black women go through shit. You're, you're right. right. You're and right. I'm not right. trying to compare right. Right. the struggle of black no, men right and women and all that right. shit. Right. Yeah. But okay. like I I get fucking yeah. Let's no, you're right. Though. You're right. I'm with you. I'm right. with you right there. You're right. I'm with you. Right. I'm I don't so, want to be right. I just want to be right. You understood you're right. Right. and you're right. So so to sum this one up, we're gonna go with Jay. She yeah, wins. yeah, yeah. Right on up. They win. You're right. You see what I'm saying? Nah, nah. You proved your point. Like, come on, shit, you proved. If not, this shit finna be some men are against us shit. This shit will finna be something else. You're right. <laughs> I learned that. That's what, that was, <laughs> that's what I became. I conquered everything when I was able to tell oh, my wife. Well, guess you're what? You're right. right. You're right. You got it. You know what? Because you ain't right. gonna never get it, but you're right. You got it. You got it. I can't beat you, bro. If I can't beat you, what they gonna lead to? Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, let's talk God. about let's talk about somebody that uh supports a lot of street artists, supports the culture and has supported you, you know, from day one and that's Gazi, man. How's it being signed to Gazi doing business with him and outside of that, that being a brother of yours? I love Gazi because we communicate with each other. You know what I mean? Versus yeah. like if I was signed to like a uh major label. I probably wouldn't even know the CEO or the owner. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I could literally call Gazi like right now, and whatever the problem is, we can get it fixed. There's never gonna be a problem. We don't argue about money. I know all my business. I know everything. So I'm I'm, I'm comfortable with that mm -hmm. with him versus being with somebody who really don't fuck with me like that. If I get into a situation, they ain't they gonna shelf me. They ain't gonna help me get out of jam. Like bro, gonna be there for me. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was there before I went to jail. He came and got me from jail. So it ain't really nothing. It's like loyalty over money with me and, with me and guys. <clears throat> so speaking of loyalty over money, let's talk about Rio. Yeah. So when does Rio get out, first and foremost? And then I want you to kind of like, for the people that don't understand the dynamic of y'all's relationship, kind of just give them a brief synopsis of what exactly it is that he means to you. Okay. I don't know when Rio get out as okay. of yet. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. All right, we praying to get out soon. Yes. But Rio is like a little brother to me. You know what I mean? I found Rio when he ain't have a phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't have $500. So I told him he was gonna be exactly what he is now. Yeah. So for me to see him be what he is and he ain't even home. Right. You know what I mean? You can't even imagine how that feel to me. Yeah. Because I just watched it come true. I damn near predicted it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like that. That I love that boy to death. It ain't really too. I can't even describe it. You know what I mean? Every day I wake up, it's free Rio. For sure. Yeah. For sure. What's one of the biggest struggles you had, like, to, like, adapt to this industry? Like, mm. I had to learn to never take this shit personally. 
Cause all these niggas fake. All of them. Like ninety what percent? Ninety three. Ninety three percent. Yeah. That's some good odds. That's some good odds. There's some real niggas in this shit. Yeah. Man. But, yeah. But never take it personal though. What the fakest shit you seen nigga do like? <clears throat> all right, nigga called me. A producer called me, right? I got a hit for you. Number one, I guarantee you it's going number one. I'm in LA. I'm doing me. You feel me? I'm like, all right, send it to me. I'll get the song, boom. I booked the studio. Go knock the verse out same night, send it to him. Now, this has been like two, three months. I'm waiting on the song to come out. And this is how God worked. I ain't even know this nigga album was gonna come out. The, the, you know what I'm saying? I just hit the producer up this day. And I was like, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? What's up with that song? I'm still on that song. He like, man, they switched it around. But whenever you in the city, link up with me. And I was just like, LOL, all right, bro. They switched it around. They took me off that bitch. Yeah. yeah. They put Fabulous and somebody else in there. What song? <laughs> Fucking uh, Hitmaker, man. Fuck, I'm not What screaming. Hitmaker? What did he do? Young what Bird? I just told you. Yeah, Young Bird. He did some oh, he lame took shit. Fake hard ass song. What song was it? You don't remember? Some shit with uh, Eric Billinger, I think his name was. Some shit like that. We had They had did a uh, Brown Sugar remix. And, uh, I think D'Angelo? they got Jer- Yeah, they got Jeremiah and Fab on there. He wow. took me on. He did some lame shit. You know, industry shit, second shit. Yeah, talk to him. I ain't even talking about it. I don't take it personal though. Yeah, you can't. I don't take it personal you though. Can't. I ain't really about nothing. I ain't real, man. I don't get mad about that type of shit. But that was like some of the most shit like that. Well, give you the dry though. Like, man, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Like, shit like that, because niggas, the, niggas waiting on me to fail. They waiting on me to fail. Yeah. They waiting yeah. on me to go back to the hood. They waiting on me to go back to jail. Yeah. They waiting on me to do some fuck shit so everybody on Instagram can laugh about it. So I just. Oh, they gonna laugh. They just give them shit to laugh right. about. <clears throat> Can't get any nothing to laugh about. Yeah, nah. You gotta stay on your shit. You gotta stay winning. You can't get these folks nothing to laugh about, mm-hmm. nothing to talk about. They can't. That's what they looking for. Yeah. You be popping a lot of shit on your Twitter too, man. Like some some of your tweets be going viral, and then there's a tweet you put out that said, "When you start giving bitches your hard earned money, they start losing Losers respect for you. Stay focused, P. That's true. Break that down." I ain't see that one. Well, I ain't said nothing. Yeah, that hard. What's I'm that? listening. I feel like you can't give women money, like, cause that shit cripple them. They lose respect for you. Like they they start depending on that. Like they feel like they ain't even gotta fuck you if you just giving them money all the time. You know what I'm saying? Really, Those are facts. Like imagine a girl just being there to call you at will and get whatever she want, and you get nothing. You know what I'm saying? She don't respect you. That ain't no real shit. A real bitch gonna ask you what you what you need if you need something. Mm-hmm. She gonna come put that head on you, come give you a massage, mm-hmm. bring you some white Air Force Ones. You feel me? Mm-hmm. More facts. I just More feel facts. like that. Like, but <clears throat> you can't be spoiling these females with money, bro. They ain't gonna respect that shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, cause at the end of the day, that's that's the same thing as building that entitlement. Once you give them so much, listen to what I'm saying. I ain't say that. Once you give them so much, then it's expected. When you don't do it, it's a letdown. So if I do less, when I do something, bitch, you're gonna appreciate it. But if there's That's the truth. But here's I, my if thing. I do everything, then you 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 expect it. Yeah. If I don't do nothing. When I do something, you're gonna be out your mind. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna do less as possible. Mm-hmm. But what if there's but what if there's an even exchange though? What if I'm doing just as much shit we for equal. you? And on that be fit to fit in the world. Yeah. On nothing be equal. So we equal, we equal. We can have a contest on who's gonna do what for each other. We equal, we equal. But if it's sitting at 30, I gotta match you with a 30 30. <laughs> Real shit. You can't never fuck with nobody more than they fuck with you. How? Yeah. You can't never do that. Mm-hmm. You know then I mean? it turned one sided. It turned one sided and that's expected. Yeah. Like you can't you can't go be happy on your own because I'm gonna be unhappy. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm making you unhappy. Imagine trying to make a motherfucker happy that don't even care if you happy. Mm. How did it work? And I'm working. Yep. Mm. There's people out here stuck stuck in that though. Yeah, you got takers and givers. Mm. Like you can be a giver. Like I can think of you pouring to you, but you don't pour shit into me. Mm. How you expect for that to keep going? Because niggas think the money control the the, the mind. Mm. Like the the money don't mean shit. The money might get you some pussy, but. She go love she love for free. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Free Y'all ain't never seen Casino? Y'all saw what happened <clears throat> What happened with Ginger? Mm-hmm. For the free nee nee. Yeah. <laughs> that shit real. You can't buy no- That no, nigga was a bum. You can't buy no girl hurt. That shit don't work like that. That shit crazy. Yeah. 
You can rent the pussy. I'm What <laughs> <laughs> small fee? Say it might cost you a little, it might cost you a lot, but it's gonna cost you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. You gonna know kill him about that shit. Nigga, pee your bitch off. Here you go. <laughs> you try to be in love. This homie, she love dick and money. That's it. Mm. Keep yours, young man. Keep your money. money. Keep your hard earned money, bro. That's all. They'll respect you more once they feel like you ain't. Once they know you ain't going, they'll respect you. You gonna know when more. you know. You just gonna know, like, like. Mm -hmm. See, motherfucker don't understand that. Like, okay, bro, I don't know yet, bitch. I don't give a fuck how you suck it, how you do it. I don't know yet. <laughs> like, you gotta understand that. Like, I don't still. I don't what feel is, that one. What is, what is it you don't know, babe? Break it down. The one like on, you know how like know. you know the one that like man, I just can't th stop thinking about this bitch. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's when you know. Like I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. I'm thinking about her. I knew I, mm. I knew I was gonna be with the girl who I had kids with the first time I saw her. The first day I saw her, I'm like, I already knew what time it was. Mm. Mm. Right. So let me ask you this: That's How that do you know. feel about? <clears throat> I know. I how do you feel about? Okay, like, you know how niggas might have, like, a baby mama or whatever, and for whatever reason, they didn't work necessarily work out at the time, and he got into another relationship, but he still feels like it's his responsibility to make sure that her and the kid are straight. See, even that shit a double-edged sword, because she going to start feeling like she entitled to what the other baby mama getting. You feel what I'm saying? So you once you start leaning more to this side, now you got her feeling away. You can't even play the game like that. You just gotta yeah. be there for the kid. You just gotta just take care of the kid. You can't worry about the, the the baby mama and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got you could be a real nigga and do things that supposed to be done, but you don't gotta overdo it if she ain't if you ain't in a relationship with her. That shit don't go like that. Cause even she gonna feel entitled. Like, I, I, I didn't, you know what I mean? You can't, yeah. you know, yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to sound like no misogynist and all that yeah. shit. Do women, do do it, just keep it real though. Do women automatically supposed to be, feel entitled in that type of shit? Right? Real shit though. No, real real shit. The, all bullshit aside though. If you're in a no. Shit, no, just pure in life. Entitled to what? Just. I don't know to be treated like a princess. I don't know. Like, who wants do to be you, treated no, no, like no. a princess? Do you feel entitled to be taken care of? Yes. Do women feel entitled to be taken yeah, care like of? Yeah, like somebody's supposed to. Like depends, there's a man like, or there's a person supposed to make sure your life is great besides you. Facts. But what that's, I'm saying that's is, the question. Question. I that's think the that question. you guys are speaking from a financial standpoint. No, we're no I'm just period. speaking in general. Happiness, for, whatever. I'm just asking a question. For, for most women, I feel like. They feel like they deserve to feel secure and they deserve to feel safe and they deserve to feel loved. But a lot of women that are, or well, most women that are in requirement of those types of things have no problem reciprocating that requirement. No, I they can't agree with you there. The I can't agree with that. <laughs> Cause every you got to think about the time we live in too. Corey, we don't want to hear that shit. We, uh, we live in a time where everybody want what they see somebody else with. So mm. yeah, and those are saying? bums. Real bitches don't don't. It ain't real bitches, don't. What are you real bitches, man. What are you real bitches at? What are you real, bitches at? Yeah. real <laughs> bitches at for these niggas who ain't got nothing, who can potentially be some? Where them real bitches they ain't give it, They ain't giving them niggas Where them niggas at? It's, it's a lot of... A, a real lot bitch of, know how to peep a nigga who gonna be something. That's a fact. But what I'm saying you is... You know what I'm saying? Is, you wanna catch a nigga who already... That's bitch, already bought. Yeah, like, yeah. Ooh, I don't care nothing about no bitches. I think... Mm -hmm. That's what y'all trying to make. Them type of niggas. No, 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 no. No, go ahead. No, what I'm saying is... The <laughs> niggas with potential... It's a lot of bitches out there that are able to peep the potential and that are willing to cultivate that potential. But at some point, you have to understand when that potential turns into some shit that just ain't gonna work. You can't say that. This man just said he been fucking with this shit 13 years. He just got his biggest hit. Now, it's up. You it's can't up. say that. This shit up. It's no. just up, like, and it's stuck there. You can't, you can't say that. So. Bitch, you lost but I'm faith sure it's never. But I'm sure it's, you've never had a point to where you just like 
complete. Okay, well, let me not say I that. Did. I was going to say a point I went to jail. where you I went completely to jail. gave up and didn't believe in yourself. I went to jail. Because at the, at the end of the day, a real bitch is going to make you like re believe in yourself. But you also have to like. You have to help with that. Like you expecting a bitch to be, you expecting a bitch to be just because she's a real bitch. She's supposed to be a fucking magician. Like real bitches no, are not magicians. No, real not bitches about, are people. I guess we're talking that, about two different things. We're talking about two different things. No, bro. We are. We're talking about two different. Bro, things. You're, you're right. You're speaking about you. You're, right. <laughs> you're speaking about you. You're taking this you're person. Right. You're no, no, no. I'm not personal. No, 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 no. You're taking you're no, taking no, no. a person from the person that you are. Yeah. See, that's how we do. We ask yeah, yeah, questions yeah, yeah, from yeah, the people that we are. You answer the question from your perspective. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's yeah. speak of the typical. You, like, speak you got homies. General. You got little homies that you fuck with every day, and you see the shit they going through with these girls. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm talking about those girls. We ain't talking about you. You're taking you're, okay. you're putting it in a personal personalized. I'm talking I digress. about the the the, the I culture. Digress. Yeah, the women that are in the culture, right? I, I, I get what you're saying, but you have two different type of women. You have like the younger girls that just going off of what they see in society and how men supposed to take care of them. Then you have women that just wants to be provided for and be filled. But the older women worse. They the most entitled. You got to think it's hard to... Most women want to feel secure and they want to feel safe. Where are you going to find these women at? You got to pick up your phone. You ain't like you finna just run to the club and see a, a, a group of like them the bitches that love niggas right there. <laughs> it don't go like that. That shit don't go like that. Facts. Right. 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 You got to find them. <laughs> you got to find them. <laughs> Real shit. Though. Real shit. <laughs> We are. Man, that's that old trick in the book. Nurturing. Nurturing what? That's actually how we take so, care of kids and everything. Like that. That, but I'm sorry, nurture earth. I'm saying earth. earth. Not earth. Nurture earth. earth. Even if that's earth. true. Earth. The, 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 the majority of the females that's out here right now Thank you. is burnt. It's, they on Instagram. They want money. They mm. want bags. They want trips. They want... You ain't finna find no females that really care about you if you ain't. And they not nurturing this shit. You not finna find them on the phone. You gotta be like, when you gonna go to the concert? Like when they throw the old school concerts and shit. Like you ain't gonna. You got. I don't know how you gonna find them. They have been. That's what I tell you. Like you speaking from a personal point, my bad. You speaking from a personal point of view. We're speaking on the times that we're in. Mm -hmm. I we just spoke on niggas in the street, goddamn doing all this shit for clout and for goddamn respect and notoriety and ego. The women, they doing this shit for, man, fuck that nigga, all that come up shit. You should be up. Mm. All that, you about to come up shit. Mm. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, Everything is micro now. Mm -hmm. Who doing it now? That's why every player got to lead 10 bitches. Because it, it, it ain't enough for these niggas to go around. It ain't enough for it. They, everybody chase for one set of niggas, like, who already doing it. They, don't, they ain't looking at little buddy. He ain't did it yet, but he, he can do it. If he get these ideas I got and we put them together, we can do this. They ain't thinking that they don't they, see the vision. No, they ain't not. Fin it, fuck that vision, bro. That fuck shit the might vision. Not work. <laughs> they don't oh. care about that shit. But Michael I just way. feel like from a nigga standpoint, how do you even have the mental capacity to deal with ten bitches? Uh, none of y'all don't mean shit. Damn. <laughs> none of y'all don't mean shit. At the end of the day, it's just serious. being real. None of y'all don't mean shit. I, I, I'm gonna say, dealing with 10 niggas too. from my perspective, mm -hmm. it might be um, you might get something different out of every out of every one. <laughs> You feel me? <laughs> but like, but but ten bitches, ten different attitudes. Ten I don't gonna say ten. That's a I, lot. It, it, a, a nigga might can when, juggle. Women dealing with five niggas too. You might yes. got one that just take care of the business. You might got one that just freaky and the fun girl. Then you might got one that just get money. So you ain't gonna have all that in one. Yeah, ten bum bitches, so five if, bum bitches. You ain't even anybody else. Uh, now, if a nigga just out here just fucking ten girls, that's just dumb as fuck. You, you feel what I'm saying? You can have your three of yo that you juggle with for your each different reason. Cause ain't no nigga just finna have one female. You know? But see, I feel no, like. Don't say that, bro. <laughs> don't say All right, bang my bad, bro. Don't say that, Not no young niggas, man. But you kind of right though. It's like how. I'm speaking from like I ain't no, I'm saying from, from your I'm perspective. saying from when y'all respect them. I'm, I'm speaking cause I, you know me, I'm the type of nigga. I put myself in different shoes. This ain't got nothing to do with what I'm doing now. I'm a married man and all that. But what I'm saying is, I get it. It's like. Baby, you can't. If I try to put all this shit that's in my mind in you in one bitch, I'm gonna run you crazy. Mm -hmm. Let me spread this out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spread 
make this shit out, make this shit work. You made the women walk out. I'm just being real. That's how niggas think it. I'm just telling you how these niggas think. Ain't no way you gonna be able to do all this shit. You know what I'm saying? She got too much shit going on trying to do this, this, and that. This guy is crazy, man. Bro, is it facts or not, bro? We all big fans, bro. That's how niggas think it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It is. And I don't condone. It is what it is. But they ain't gonna want me to take what they go baby do all them things. So can I ask you a question? Go ahead. So do you think that or do you agree that women have multiple men and men have multiple women for two different reasons? I feel yes. like I feel yes. like women got niggas certain niggas for what they need them for. Emotional support. <laughs> but when women got a certain nigga, you're a replaceable. See, Ain't none of y'all replace. I need all y'all to make this shit go around. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all looking at it, women are looking at it as, okay, I'm talking to him because I want to replace him. Mm -hmm. Nigga looking like this my crew. I'm done. Yeah, nah, baby. Baby, you right. fast, boy, you be on some bullshit. You right. fast, though. You right. Right. But the way get you my, said it, some bullshit. Get my teeth, you right. 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 <laughs> right. You I nigga, ain't looking no at her like putting up a fight. Nigga, bitch, you can't do what she do. Right. You can't do what you do. Shoot, 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 shoot. No, y'all can't do what each other do. Mm -hmm. All y'all make the perfect bitch. Community. That's how niggas thinking in their mind, bro. I'm not talking once again. Mm -hmm. I'm not personalizing this shit. I'm speaking for guys that I know that I speak to. Me that either. I, mentor, I, I ain't that speaking that I for me. It's <laughs> <laughs> not for me. I'm just speaking in general. Exactly. I'm speaking for guys this that I This ain't got to do with my situation. Exactly, bro. You feel me? Once again, disclaimer. But I know what they're saying because I dip deep. Dug deep in depth with these guys, you know what I'm saying? When I be trying to help them out, mm -hmm. they told me. <laughs> a hip it, hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> they told me, like, all the like, four bitches, you, three get... good bitches can make a hell of a bitch. You know, we just hear shit and we kick hell yeah, it. You ain't never yeah. heard that, though. Hell Keep yeah. real. Can't three good bitches, like, I, hear, I ain't got to put that lot. much pressure on you, baby, to do this. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you like this, that you can do this. Mm hmm. Let uh, her do this. <laughs> and let her do this. Because I don't even want to put that. He don't want to put that pressure on her. <laughs> yeah, he don't want to put that pressure on her. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Perspective. Nah, but real shit, though. Perspective. Uh, What's your take on the screen? Perspective. You know Scream ain't finna get into that. <laughs> Ooh. Scream ain't in. I, Scream don't even know a guy who do that. I know guys right, that do exactly. that. Like, I don't even associate. You know guys that be on Yeah. I know because some, I know guys who trying to figure that out right now. Like they 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 it's, they need three women to make one. You feel me? I'm, I know them. <laughs> y'all know me is crazy, man. That shit fucked up, but that's the in 2023, bro, that's a short. Somebody's gonna have to sacrifice their self for these women. It's not enough to go around. It's like we need a hero dude, like that he can get him. But it's more bitches than niggas, though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's like, Way okay, more. let's do the, let's do the, what do you call it? The math. Uh, math on this shit. If it's a hundred to one, so like, let me get it one. The type of niggas that these women want. If it's a hundred to one, how supposed to just have one? It's not possible. Mathematically, it's not possible. Not even number wise. There's no way it can be done. We need I'm to saying, be, how do we solve we that? We need to be reproducing for our or race. I don't say agree or disagree, but how do, how mathematically do we solve that? That's what everybody. How do we solve that? But hold on, though. We're going to sum this one up. Bank won this round. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? One for him. One one. Yeah. And one for me. <laughs> it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but real shit, how do? Oh, There's my There's no God. way you can do it. There's too many women and not enough men. You, you can't. Yeah, I can though. I'm doing. I've done it. Me too. Man, it's gonna come a time where we gonna everybody gonna do it. It's gonna come. A, so you're basically to a time. saying that in the future polygamy is gonna be prevalent. I'm saying that it's gonna come a time where everybody gonna have to settle down and do what's best for them. Facts. With the person who they love. You ain't gonna be able to juggle. Or the people who they love? I mean, it's gonna come a time. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. 
You better do it. You know what I mean? Don't wait till it's too late. You don't want to be 40 out here trying to find yeah. the perfect one. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to have your fun and all that shit, but well, if you smart, then you got to know out of them three, which one the one. Then you lock in with that one. You know what I mean? What's next for you, bro? Man, CEO. <clears throat> I got plans to make other niggas rich, man. Shit ain't just about me, bro. You know what I mean? I got plans for my my brand, so I I, I really want to focus on being a CEO. That's what's next for me. You said you are, you you when you were saying that you you want to actually get a law degree. You want to be a lawyer, like you would be a lawyer. Mm, just... No, I don't want to be a lawyer. I just want to know the information. Okay, you want the information. I just need the knowledge, so I don't need a lawyer down there. You know gotcha. what I mean? Mm. I want to be my I want to be my own shark. Yeah. I just want to go play dumb in big meetings and act like I don't know nothing. And then when they give me a contract, I'm gonna tell them, you know what? I'll give you a contract and you sign it. Mm. You feel me? Shit like that. What's the biggest misconception like the world think of you that they you like, man? Y'all really y'all think I'm a big kind of me? Hmm. Mm. Damn, that's a good question. But I don't act like I'm nothing I ain't. Yeah. So what you see down there is what you get with me. I'm always going to be the same nigga if I'm with 100 niggas around by myself. And <clears throat> I ain't never changed. I've always been that way. So it's like, man, you got to think. You, you, if you you got to think that. you got Ain't nothing you can think about me. Mm. I don't even hear weird shit about me. <laughs> Real shit. I don't be hearing weird shit about me like that. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas that's on the internet that say dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be hearing weird shit about me, though. What was that shock moment for you? Like, damn, these folk know my shit? Kim Kardashian and uh, <laughs> her daughter, North. Yeah. That fucked me up. Yeah, that fucked me up when I was in the studio. I couldn't believe that. I was like, wow. I'm big. I really had a moment. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. That fucking me up. Is there X amount of money? Like, you know, you do this shit for the money and for your legacy and shit, but is there X amount of money that you get to where you like, I guess the word is retire, you know, it's just like, I got this amount of money now, I can stop working or hustling. Is there X amount of money or if you're a hustler, you just always gonna try to get after it? Yeah. It depends on what you feel rich. Mm. Like if that- you had a hundred M's, is it gonna be somebody with two hundred M's that think you're that you ain't got enough money? It just depends. Money not rich. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. never have enough money. Money not rich. That's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Money mm-hmm. not rich. Yeah, you can't never get enough of it. Mm-hmm. Even if you had a billion dollars, it's gonna be a nigga with three billion. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna feel like, man, I ain't. I gotta. It's never gonna be enough money if you, if you think that way. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I feel like true rich is happiness. Mm-hmm. Why? You can never get tired of watching your kids grow, or you know what I'm saying, and taking care of your family. Watches get old, cars get old, mm-hmm. houses get old. You know what I mean? Yeah. Money come and go. You might have a a, a, a hundred million dollars this this year. You might have fifty next year. You know what I mean? Why? Right. Money ain't that don't make you rich. Mm-hmm. So it ain't. It, it depends. What what you doing it for? Who you like? What are you doing? What's your purpose? Like who you trying to help? Like what what are you doing it for? You know what I mean? That's that's what determines why you doing what you doing. It ain't gonna never be about the paper because some niggas do this shit forever and don't get no money. Right. Yeah. And happy. <clears throat> I know some niggas that work at Walmart that's happier than some of these NFL and NBA niggas. You know what I mean? Facts. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't, it ain't never about no paper with me. What's the shit that made PJ happy? Making everybody else happy around me, knowing everybody happy. Mm-hmm. I make other people happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm more about the lie. So yeah. I'm like, I, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what I do. Like, I build people up and let them go their way and do their thing. You know what I mean? So I Back try to, to the like, nigga with <clears throat> the fish. You got to teach the nigga to fish instead of just handing out fish. So you can build a community of fishermen instead of a community of lazy niggas that's waiting to eat. When it's, all it's, over, when, it's all, when it's all over, what you feel like you won't like, motherfuckers remember you by like, nah, peace with this. Peasy was a nigga that helped as many people as he could. P 
Peasy was a nigga that you just couldn't, you couldn't play with Peasy. You can't play with him. But he'll give you the shirt off his back. He ain't going for nothing. He know what he need to know. Peasy got money. Yeah. Peasy live. Peasy did it big. Peasy ain't never asked nobody for shit. Peasy was legendary, you know? Peasy moved his mama out the hood. Peasy moved his daddy out the hood. Peasy kids straight. Ain't no smut on his name. I'm mm. cool with that. Yeah. That thing is extra. I could walk outside with no mask on, with jewelry on, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me. Like out of respect and love and energy. I ain't the toughest nigga in the world, but ain't nobody looking for me. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> do that come with pain when you do so much for some people sometimes when it ain't reciprocated? Yeah, but you can't never stop though. You can't stop being who you is. You just gotta know who you supposed to do shit for and and, and you know what I mean? You can't never stop being who you are. Cause somebody else who they is, that just make you a fuck nigga like them. <laughs> no, I agree. Cause shit. it's like when you do when you do <clears throat> shit for shit, people, <laughs> you're supposed to do it you ain't just to do it. Anyway. And that appreciation shit. is just supposed to be a plus. Mm -hmm. So whether it comes or if it doesn't, you know, you still know that my intentions were good. And that's just like giving a crackhead money. Like your intentions for giving this crackhead money were to help this crackhead get possibly get something to eat. Mm -hmm. But if the crackhead goes and smokes rocks with your money, you know what I'm saying? God knows you didn't intend to enable this crackhead to smoke. You came from the right place with it. So you're going to be blessed regardless sometimes, as to whether or not people so, do what they need to do. Sometimes you got to get ignorant with these niggas too. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm a, yeah, I am a fuck nigga too. There come a time it when you got a we match, we match energy, right? Yeah. Like, cause you can't beat some shit with kindness. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Let's just say that like, too. Like, you got to play the game how this shit go. Like, when it's time to play the game. You got to match energy. You got to match is. energy. That's just what it is. Like, it's, certain energy don't respect certain energy. It's like, okay, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I can't, they don't go like that. Yeah, you got to draw the line sometimes for motherfuckers can know it. Like, all right, he got a good heart, but he's still a motherfucking sh You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to draw the line. They just like, back in school, when you bully kids and shit, you bully him until he start whooping ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nah, he can fight, though. They gonna stop bullying him now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that's just how it goes. Like, when we're going to keep pushing you until to you, to you react in a way that they can understand. Some people can't understand, goddamn... I don't know, and this shit might sound ignorant, but it's Bro, the you got to put blood on shit sometimes. But like, 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 I ain't going to lie. Like, it, it might sound crazy, but like, like, pain is the only thing a nigga understand that make him respect, like, certain shit. Like, yeah. you got to put blood on certain shit so people can always have it in their mind. Like, they can't go around that part of it. You feel me? Mm. It's just like, I don't know. Like, you nah, just, it got to be that way. This shit fucked up. It's just the law of the land. It's, it's exactly. going to come a time where it got to be that way. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy for a nigga to get me and be like, man, that nigga ho. Yeah. But that shit spread so fast. That nigga ho spread so fast, but every town, every little neighborhood, everybody know he's a ho. Mm -hmm. But you, you can't have it on your name. You can't get no money. Like, this shit fucked up out here, how this shit work, how the world work now. Especially right now, because, like, that go to the beginning of the interview. Like, we were saying, these niggas don't care about nothing. If you ain't, yeah. if they don't know you ain't killed nobody, bro. If you man, you can't be no, you can't be soft out here. You can't just be soft out here, now. You know what I mean? I ain't saying just be doing crazy shit, but I ain't saying you can't be just going for shit. You know what I'm saying? I think the rap game is like bigger than the dope game used to be. Now, like it's more criminals in rap. I hate to say that than in goddamn the streets. Cause you got all the niggas who used to be criminals that got they that can put their own music out now. They don't gotta get signed no more. So now it's like shit, shit. I can go do this and then I'm make a song about it and put it out myself. But what else? Might blow. It, it fucked up how. What else a nigga supposed to do? Like, okay, if I get me a pack to sell me a pack and try to start being a rapper, like. Shit need to be legit, kinda. Like I ain't trying to, <laughs> I ain't trying to get there. I'm trying to do something positive, cause I don't know no nigga that's a hustler. Now you got some nigga that just jumped out of the court on that. Mm -hmm. You got some nigga that jumped out of the court, I want some money, but I ain't going for that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? The, them different type of niggas, you gotta understand two different type of street niggas. This street nigga that just only get money, and this street nigga that only be on the bullshit, and the street nigga that get money but can get on the bullshit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta have a balance. Yeah, you so, gotta have a balance with it. But do the street niggas not? Do some of the street niggas 
Are they rapping, of course, for a better way and everything, but are some of them just rapping, getting in the rap for the fame type shit? A lot of this it's, 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 it's a lot of but different. You, you, just, you just did whatever you did the other night to me and my cousin, and, them, and then you, now you got a song out there popping. Nigga, that shit don't go away. Mm -hmm. This shit coming to the rap game now. Mm -hmm. This didn't just. And then that make it happen. where now they want to hear your side of the story. Mm. Now you got to go do some shit yeah. and make your song now. Mm. You feel me? Hopefully, neither side go to jail. Mm. I think I think that shit about to switch over though. Hustlers taking back over, man. Shit, Hustlers taking back over, bro. Yeah. Mm. Niggas who with substance, the niggas that's getting money, they taking yeah. back over this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. They making it like. That shit the, lying. The, they making it where like, all right, go do some gangster shit and get caught. We yeah. gonna knock y'all out. We gonna take all y'all down. Exactly. You feel me? I already went to jail for the Rico charges anyway. I went first, so I already knew what to come home and do. You feel me? They yeah. they making it where they trying to like kill gangster rap mm. by like locking all the rappers up. They trying to like show like oh like they like it never been a time in the world where music just been so much based on snitching. That's all you see is snitching, 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 snitching. Every day it's a new nigga that told on somebody. They trying to kill the image of like this gangster rap shit. You feel me? Yeah. You know, you can, you gonna have niggas making more conscious rapping shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Switching their image up. They trying to kill that shit. Mm. And then niggas gonna follow suit once a, a lot of niggas go to jail. And then niggas gonna be like, all right, we get it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta stay ahead of that shit. Stay ahead of that shit. The internet not real. It's not real. Mm. You still gotta log off the phone. You gotta put the phone down and still deal with real life shit. Mm. You can't never go outside for the app. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, what if that bitch shit. crashed down tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Dead out of and you done went outside on the internet. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now nah, it ain't no more internet. All right. Be true to yourself, man. Where you think the shit went left at? I'm like, keep asking the same question. Mm -hmm. We just trying to figure it out. That's why. Went left at, man. We probably will never figure it out. Yeah, like, where this shit went left at, man? I don't. I just think that, like you said, the internet just magnified, like, man, I ain't going for that. But they, I don't hear that shit so much, but these niggas ain't going for nothing for real. Like, that's Everybody it. went, man. Huh? Everybody went with something. Don't let these niggas tell you that. All these niggas went for something. You think all these niggas killed 30 people and ain't nobody in jail for it? But somebody lying about this shit. That's why I don't rap about this. I just stay in my lane. I just get money. I don't even want to be even known for that. You feel me? It's just, if you know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. That's it. Other than that, Peasy doing him. They be trying to tell me like, bro, go back to like when you was making it. I'm like, bro, I ain't living like that, bro. All right. You feel me? I, I can't, can't even relate it. anymore. I don't even know how to make them type of songs no more. Like, I'm not <laughs> living shit like that. Nigga, I'm popping my shit down. I ain't living like that, bro. I don't know how to even make them type songs no more. Yeah. I ain't even inspired by it like no more. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know you gotta feed the streets with the gangster shit sometimes, but that ain't yeah. my lane no more. Nigga know I'm lying, but I don't have a paper. They know it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I say that shit, it just gonna sound crazy because I'm doing what I do for real. Man, they ain't, it's cameras everywhere. Everywhere we go, it's cameras. All right? They know I ain't doing nothing crazy. Bro. Yeah. All right. So I ain't even act like I am. What's up with the movie? Y'all be turned up. That city turned up doing the movies though too. Yeah, they turned on the movies. I want to do a movie too. I ain't did no movies yet. I, yeah. I made a cameo in a movie, but I swear they, they doing their shit with the movies. They yeah. ain't making a lot of money doing yeah. that shit nah. too. No, you, you know what's up with the yeah. movies. Nigga. First nigga was doing that shit up there in the, them Detroit niggas fuck on the movies. Yeah. Shit. That shit, mm -hmm. I fuck with them Detroit. Shout out to them boys. Murder yeah. Pain and all them boys. Shorty Rich and all them doing their thing. Moolah yeah. TV and everybody. Yeah, they doing their thing on the movie shit. Who the GOAT from Detroit? Far ass. Just period. All the time. Like, this the nigga who stamped our city. Blade this Icewood. Who? Blade yeah. Icewood. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Blade Icewood, hands down. Yeah, he went, went deep. He went deep. He went deep. Nobody yeah. Nobody would never be bigger than Blade Icewood. I don't yeah, give a fuck who you deep. is. I don't give a fuck what you do. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how many records you sell. You'll never be bigger than Blade Icewood in the city of Detroit. Mm. Mm. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Man, why you gonna put me on blast like that? <laughs> Shit, give me five of them. Name all of them. All the y'all niggas, you know, like you say, finna come out the city and make some noise. Everybody you can think of, I know that shit crazy. 
No, because you can't you can't even do it like that. Because I'm I'm from a city where it's, you can't be biased. You feel me? Like yeah. these niggas would be mad as hell if you say they ops name. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to and, everybody. And I don't know going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out to yeah, everybody. Nah, I, I fuck with that. Shout out to everybody, <laughs> man. Yeah, nah, that's like. What's the biggest thing you gotta accomplish, man? What's the biggest thing that P's you gotta accomplish? I gotta make sure I never go broke again mm. without having to rap. Mm. I gotta make sure the right investment's made so I can sit back when I'm 40 years old. That's what this shit all about, being able to sit back and enjoy your family. Nobody wanna be on the road chasing rap money for the rest of their life. All right. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm I'm 34 years old. I've been rapping so long. I'm down there tired now. Mm. <laughs> That's why I'm telling y'all, like I'm ready to be a CEO. I can't wait to sign a few more people. And yeah. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to be the next QC or the next paper route or the next empire. or That's what I'm trying to do for my brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been doing it. I've been finding niggas in the city, turning them up. I've been making niggas rich. I've been doing it. I know I can do it. Right. I just need them to give me the money to be able to go give it to them. Because mm -hmm. that's all they need. You can get them niggas the money, get them out the hood, and get them in the studio. They'll be stars. Facts. You know what I mean? Nobody just ain't giving them a chance. That's why I got to get the money. That's what I'm for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Big shout out to Peasy, man. When, when, when more music dropping? July. Okay. I got an album dropping in July. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Salute to PZ pulling up the big facts. We appreciate that conversation. www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. Salute.